Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to your favorite show. This is Fuse on Barter, brought to you by our friend and personal. And the gang is in the beauty. Today is really exciting because we have a guest. That's right. But Woo! before we introduce the special <laughs> guest of honor, you get it? <laughs> Let's introduce we that you know our voices and you know our faces. My name is A.B. Akins. And my name is Gabrielle. Gabrielle, how are you doing today? I feel good, you know. I feel nice. Yay! <laughs> today we have a fan girl. She's an actress, a content writer. She does every scene. Wish her. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> when we tell you to watch our YouTube video, you will not watch. Now you are missing on the visual of this fine girl. Today we have Fontaine Bassi. Fontaine Bassi right here. Woo! How you doing? How you doing? Awesome. Oh, I like that. I love your voice. Oh, thank you. How you doing, Fontaine? See that? For real, for real. No, you are in Nigeria. Like, how are you doing? Have you seen any Shege this week? To be honest... Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. And lots of drama. Hmm. But that's not your for you. But we, I mean, you know how to you already. Yeah, you already yeah. know how to handle all the shit games. Some years, so, so I know you how can, to bypass you know. it all. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be right back after the short break to give you all the lowdown that we have for you. Don't move a muscle. Everyone deserves luxury. But luxury means different things to everyone. Luxury can mean appreciating the scenery of nature and stepping out to bask in the warmth of sunlight. Sometimes, luxury is savoring the satisfying and huggy taste of Amstel Malta Ultra. Other times, luxury is having enough selfie moments with your bestie. But in the end, real luxury is choosing your way to live. Amstel Malta Ultra. Choose your way to live. Feels unbothered. All right, the first thing we have to say is congratulations. Yes, we're saying a big congratulations. Sweet Kiki. Yes. She has finally given birth to a bouncing baby, baby girl. girl. Woo! Yes, I mean, if you remember, I remember that um, a while back she did her baby reveal. See, I, I want to she reveal her bomb and she, what she did bomb. with the baby bomb and what she did with that, you know, particular um, baby re, um, reveal was what? she did an entire music video. See. Like the music video dropped. See, it, I, 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 I feel like she, she, doesn't broke, play. she broke the internet first off with uh, our, our revealing shoots because I saw the photo shoots, I saw the behind the Yeah, scene. there was she the did photo shoots first. Content mm-hmm. on the photo shoot, on the baby revealing, on the gender revealing. Every <laughs> let me ask you, Fountain. Yeah, first of all, when you get pregnant, like are you, oh nice, I like that. <laughs> when you get pregnant, are you going to be someone that will be secretive about your pregnancy period? I think I will be very secretive. Although it seems like now having a baby is a full production. Like you have to oh, show. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, you have to show the internet and everyone around mm. what's going on. But I think I personally would be private about it, especially so, about the first one. I yeah. want to ask you: yeah? Is it because of the Nigerian uh, omen that we believe that oh, there are forces that don't wish you well? That's why you should keep all those. Because, like, I, I mean, apart from pregnancy, a lot of people do this when they want to also travel out. Mm. So, do you, do you think is that your reason? So I do believe in superstitions. And wow. Yeah. I okay. Do. And I would rather keep quiet about certain good things in my life until it finally manifests. Wow. I see that. I see. I see that. Honestly, for me, I think it is not going to be based off of you know believing in superstitions. I think it's just personality wise. Mm. If you look at Kiki, for example, Kiki is just a sharer. She's a content creator. So mm-hmm. what we can't expect her to you know sort of hide. You know, that if you know her, she's very extroverted. She yeah. likes to share. Mm-hmm. So having a baby was such a big thing for her, and she mm-hmm. wanted to share it mm-hmm. with all of her followers yeah. and all of her fans. So I cannot understand that but mm. me personally i think cause of personality just like um, fontaine i'm probably going to just you know keep it away keep it away. Keep yeah, away. yeah that's what Chill. we decided we'll keep it yeah, my, my, myself and gabby will keep it low. wow myself and gabby <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, Kiki, well, first of all, we just got to say congratulations. Big congratulations to you. Congratulations. 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 We're so happy. Uh, A bouncing baby you. girl. That was very yeah. beautiful. Uh, we've not seen. The picture. The pictures are there, AB. I've seen not, the pictures. Okay, me, I've not seen the picture. A really cute girl. Oh, I've seen the picture. Really? Yes, oh, really? yes. If the baby was not cute, so you say he's cute? The baby's cute. Oh, not cute. <laughs> You know, I seen a video like that that was going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that they were basically carrying. It was like a challenge at some point. You know, yeah, people yeah. were carrying the phones to their mothers yeah, and say, like, "Oh, my friend yeah. just gave us a child." Look at what the did child. That mean? Oh. <laughs> and that child was not looking like a child at all. Everyone deserves luxury, but luxury means different things to everyone.
Luxury can mean appreciating the scenery of nature and stepping out to bask in the warmth of sunlight. Sometimes, luxury is savoring the satisfying and huggy taste of Amstel Malta Ultra. Other times, luxury is having enough selfie moments with your bestie. But in the end, real luxury is choosing your way to live. Amstel Malta Ultra. Choose your way to live. Feels unbothered. All right, guys, let's move on. <laughs> I'm talking about babies. We know that earlier this year we heard yeah. that uh, Whiskey Baby Mama gave birth to another child. His manager. His I don't man- want us to just okay. call Jada just okay, a baby Jada mama. She's also Whiskey's his international manager. manager. I beg your pardon. Yeah, please. I stand to be corrected. <laughs> Thank you for that correction. Jada um, gave birth to Whiskey's second uh, child yeah. that they have together. Yes. And now it seems that there's fire on the mountain. Seems like something's going wrong. Whiskey put out uh, an encrypted message on his snap and said that uh it's been a long time that i've been uh, single that he has been single i need to have he needs to get one or two one or two <laughs> ladies or something like that and first off there was rumor this year that they uh, secretly got married mm-hmm. that's jada and and Whiskey. and jada now um put out a statement immediately after the post uh from whiskey snap that uh i think someone attacked jada saying that i don't you know what let me just let me just read exactly what this was everyone deserves luxury but luxury means different things to everyone luxury can mean appreciating the scenery of nature and stepping out to bask in the warmth of sunlight sometimes Luxury is savoring the satisfying and huggy taste of Amstel Malta Ultra. Other times, luxury is having enough selfie moments with your bestie. But in the end, real luxury is choosing your way to live. Amstel Malta Ultra. Choose your way to live. Feels unbothered. So Jada goes on to reply someone who put out a tweet saying, Whiskey go just day on loud. They break Jada P at chai then she replied saying taking arguments to social media is never going to end well all right and she goes on to say she goes on to tweet controlling emotions first of what do you think um what do you think about it i feel like relationships should be private regardless if you have ups and downs nobody really needs to know what's going on in your business because obviously the fans and people outside they're gonna have something to say so if you don't want anyone to say anything about your business keep it to yourself but do you think that there's something going on that or this might just be some level of uh, pr stunt because i mean whiskey does all this kind of play stuff every time and we don't think that jada jada seems to be someone that is like really a controversial person or class jada person. jada from from jada is not a controversial person you know from what i've known about her and i feel like if this was a publicity stunt jada will not be in on it you understand so it will just be whiskey doing whatever he's doing and jada most likely will not join you know and do this publicity stunt or PR stunt with him. So I think this is, you know, a real scene. Something is going wrong with him. But do you think so? Because she's part of his management team. And you know, hmm. a lot of artists... There's they that. Have to there's, 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 what, what is that as well? Honestly, I'm not really sure. But if you remember, um, sometime... Um, Whiskey was having like um, a, an interview somewhere in France yeah. and then they were talking about him and Jada and then the interviewer re- re- regarded Jada as his wife and he didn't say oh no she's not my wife so it means the rumors of the secret wedding must be must true must be true so they're probably married that's so Gabby not, not no, me maybe, it may be true but now seeing him coming out and saying you know it's been a while I've been single it's very confusing what are you saying exactly Ponte, did you hear about that rumor Jada and Whiskey getting hitched I actually did not hear that, but... Did you suspect? Hmm. I feel like it's just become popular for a lot of artists to just have kids out of a block. I just think it's... Okay. So you feel like Jada and Whiskey are not exclusive? I don't think so. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Are are you a Whiskey person? I do love Whiskey, but I just know how a lot... I don't know Jada personally, but... I do know a lot of men in the industry don't necessarily <laughs> commit 100 percent to one woman, you know. So, but so I do wish them the best. Do you I think, hope. Do you think hmm. this kid is someone that will commit like 100 percent to like Jada? There's a possibility. I mean, that is his manager. She has been there for him. I feel uh, like maybe one day, but I don't know 
if they are actually married. Okay, okay. Th- I mean, that works. See, she's just trying to be diplomatic. All right, guys. We'll be right <laughs> back after a short break. We still have more to talk about. Don't move a muscle. Everyone deserves luxury. But luxury means different things to everyone. Luxury can mean appreciating the scenery of nature and stepping out to bask in the warmth of sunlight. Sometimes, luxury is savoring the satisfying and huggy taste of Amstel Malta Ultra. Other times, luxury is having enough selfie moments with your bestie. But in the end, real luxury is choosing your way to live. Amstel Malta Ultra. Choose your way to live. Feels unbuttered. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. Okay, so let's talk to Fontaine. Fontaine is a Nollywood, very soon international actress. You've been in a couple of movies. Tell yes. us about that. I had a movie in cinemas called Hammer with Ben Boydomi and Mr. Macaroni. I've done production management and assistant directing in the past with Tamini, Dakari, mm. like so many big names I have worked with them behind the scenes and in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. I am also a healthcare professional. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Girl, I'm educated. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I am a singer and songwriter as well. That's so funny. Can you sing something? I am happy that you are finally telling this line. Wow. Let's talk about your uh, movies, all right? Let's talk about you and Nollywood scene, basically. Um, When did you start acting with Nollywood? I started in 2019. It actually was something that just came about out of fun. I didn't necessarily think it was going to be something that I would choose as a career. But when I went to film school, I went to Royal Arts Academy in 2019. Mm -hmm. And I started acting in a lot of their films and I did some behind the scenes with them. Then I went to Ebony Life, which I graduated in September. This year? Yes, this year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I've just been... In a lot of films and series, and it's been fun. I actually so there's love it. one actor you want to be on set with. Let's talk about uh, male and female. Who are those Who would people? would he be? In Nigeria? Or yeah, Nigeria. In Nigeria. I want to act with Tonto DK. Although wow. I haven't seen her in films, a lot of films recently, but okay. that's someone that I actually watched like growing up wow yeah. i actually like her i love that okay. yeah. that's interesting but i'm also going to ask you how is it easy you know putting all these amazing things that you do together i mean you've talked about doing production management you talk about being a healthcare professional mm-hmm. you're an actor you know and we see it these days a lot of young people are into many scenes you mm-hmm. know you see someone who's in the navy doing skits making mm-hmm. how's it you know like for you putting everything together i think time management and also focusing on one thing at a time mm. okay. yeah so like in america i did work as a nurse and a nurse's aide and here in nigeria acting production management i feel like it's all within the same spectrum yeah, true. but i've been focusing more on acting in the past two years mm. and yeah just focusing on one thing at a time not okay. overexerting myself everyone deserves luxury but luxury means different things to everyone. Luxury can mean appreciating the scenery of nature and stepping out to bask in the warmth of sunlight. Sometimes, luxury is savoring the satisfying and huggy taste of Amstel Malta Ultra. Other times, luxury is having enough selfie moments with your bestie. But in the end, real luxury is choosing your way to live. Amstel Malta Ultra. Choose your way to live. Feels unbuttered. So we should look forward to seeing you in more movies coming soon? Definitely. Or are you on any projects right now? Yes. So a series called Last Giddy. It is hilarious. Say that again. Last Giddy. Last Giddy. Yeah. Yes. Say, no, no, no. She needs to say it in our own Nigerian accent. Last Giddy. Eh? Hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's actually hilarious. It's a comedy. It's hmm. really great. What role did you play in Last Giddy? Her name was Emiliana. Emiliana. She okay. just got back, of course. I mean, yes, she just got back. I did you Yeah. Okay. But she is... A character. She has anger problems. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of 
shouting, arguments, but you know, some funny moments. I love that. I love that. That's that's so good. Uh, yeah, I'm also going into acting very soon, so watch out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'll follow you guys though. Maybe I'll join acting as well. You never know. You, you never, never know. know right? Thank you so much for coming on the show, Fontaine. Thank you Please for drop your Instagram me. handle for people to link up with you. My Instagram handle is Fontaine Bassey. Fontaine like plantain. Fontaine. Okay. 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 Fontaine like that's F U N. F O N. F O N. Okay. F O N. All right. Plantain like plantain. Fontaine. Content. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We Thank had so much so fun much having you on the show. Guys, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Fuse, C H E F U Z E. Subscribe, turn on the notification, and also follow us on Instagram, Fuse Local. Link up with me on Instagram and Twitter at AB underscore AKYNZ. You'll find me, Gabrielle, on Instagram at Gabby.Gabby. Do well to follow. From all of us, stay, stay fused. fused. Upfront and personal, world class business, world class consultants.